Hello everybody and welcome back to the second shelf. Another tag video. Oh yes, um, you haven't seen a tag video from me in quite a while, I think a month maybe or two, because I was working my way through the backlog of all the tags I've been tagged in until I've done, I've been doing a pretty good job until the beginning of July or something and then I let it slide. So the backlog is building up again and I will again start trying to work my way through it in no particular order and today I decided to do the booktube community tag. I think the questions are great. The tag was created by Mark from Richardson Reads and I was tagged by Sue from Sue's Book Nook. Um, links to both channels down below and I really love Sue's uh, channel um, although Sue I don't always comment uh, because I, a lot of times I don't have anything of value to say uh, especially because Sue and that's one of the reasons that I really like her channel. She reads a lot of books that I have no idea about, uh, especially mangas. But anyway, the booktube community tag. Questions on my phone as always, so don't be um, offended that I don't look at you all the time. Uh, number one, how long have you been watching booktube? Um, I've been watching booktube uh, now about th three and a half, four years, I would say, because I, I started my channel uh, two and a half years ago, and I've been watching BookTube about a year before that. Um, yes, I know, I came to BookTube late. Don't forget, I'm old. I'm from the TV generation, <laughs> and I had no affinity with YouTube whatsoever. I, 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 for years and years and years, I, I thought it's still, you know, a place where people upload silly cat movie, uh, cat clips and, and funny cats and funny babies and stuff like that. Um, and it was more or less by chance that I changed that attitude, which was wrong, of course, because I, on TV, saw a documentary about YouTube and about the developments of YouTube. And then I thought, well, that that's worth checking out. They didn't talk about BookTube uh, in this documentary, but they talked about, you know, interesting channels and that there's news and stuff like that. So I started, you know, browsing YouTube and more or less by chance, because I wasn't even looking for it, I found the first BookTube channel and then the next and the next. And then I started watching and I started subscribing. And after a year, I decided, you know, to start my own channel. Um, well, second question, how long have you been a booktuber? I've already answered that. I started uh, in May 2016. How many countries do you have on your subscriber list? And how many countries uh, of booktubers do you subscribe to? I had... Uh, you have this great uh, analytics on, on booktube, so I, I did that. I checked that. There are in total 165 countries. Uh, listed and I have subscribers from 112 countries, which I think is fantastic. Um, not surprisingly, the you know the top five is US, UK, Canada, Australia. In my case, also Germany because I am originally from Germany and the Netherlands because I live in the Netherlands. But what surprised me in the first in the top ten was that on um, I think number seven is India. So that's great. But I have, you know, from the other uh, 112 countries, there are a lot of uh, countries with one subscriber. But I think that's great. And since I discovered that analytics thing, I also check, you know, what countries are I have and, and how many people. Because, I, I, yeah, I think it's fantastic that this is a real global community. So one of the aspects that, that I really love ab about BookTube. And as for me, uh, I checked you there's I didn't find a, a good analytics from it but I, I checked myself and it's about 10 countries the booktubers I subscribe to are from around 10 countries uh, and not surprisingly although their main countries are US Canada Australia UK uh, then Germany but also Italy Poland um, some Arab countries uh, Russia so I, I tend to look for booktubers uh, doing videos in English uh, or in German, but English mainly, so that sort of limits uh, my scope a little bit, but, but still. Uh, number four, describe how you handle your comment section. Do you have regular conversations with certain people? Um, 
my comment section, that's, that's one of the things I'm really proud of. First of all, uh, I have really great subscribers who, you know, comment regularly and, and n not silly or, um, you know, uh, mean comments. I, I think I had two or three mean comments in all of the two and a half years. Um, and one of the things that I'm proud of is that so far I have answered uh, to, I have written an answer to every single comment I've gotten. Uh, at least I think I did because my notification doesn't work anymore so I can't really I have to check manually whether I have new uh, uh, comments to a comment of somebody else for instance anyway details but I, I really try and I think I succeeded to write an answer to every single comment and yes I do have regular conversations with regular uh, commentators so I after a while, you see that some people return and give your comments. Uh, and then you, the conversation gets a little bit more personal, if you know what I mean. Um, because you, you start to know the people you're talking to. And I, I think that's great. But I also really love it if uh, I have somebody who I've never seen in the comment section before and they ask a question or they leave a comment. So I, I, I think a big part of my enjoyment uh, of BookTube is... Uh, also the comment section and the discussions uh, that I have with people in the comment section. Uh, number five, do you interact with booktubers on other social media outside of YouTube? And if yes, which ones? Um, not that much, I have to say. I'm not a big social media person. I mean, I have a Twitter account and I tweet once or twice every day and I have Instagram and I post, I don't know, maybe once every two weeks, every three weeks. Um, and I, you know, I leave comments sometimes on Twitter and sometimes on, on, on Instagram, but it's not that I would say I have really an ongoing um, uh, conversation with people on other social media. Um, my main conversation platform is, is YouTube. Uh, number six, do you rely on some booktubers for recommendations? Um, yes, if you broaden the question a little bit. I mean that the booktubers I watch and I'm subscribed to, I'm always interested in what they read. Um, it's not that I uh, ask them for recommendations or anything or hardly ever, but it's more that I value their opinion and um, I look for books that I hadn't heard of or books that I've seen but wasn't sure whether it interests me. So uh, other booktubers and their opinions of books is for me um, one of the main um, tools in order to find the books that I want to read. And that's that's great. And I, I'm sure that's the same for you. Even if you don't have a booktube channel, you will watch channels in order, you know, to see what other people read and then make up your mind whether you're interested. So that that's really great. Uh, number seven, do you interact with other booktubers on email regularly or occasionally? Yes, I do. Um, I'm subscribed to around 400 channels. There are some lame ducks in there, uh, meaning people, you know, who don't do videos anymore or haven't done a video in a very long time. So it, it, it sounds really big, but there are uh, maybe, I think, from all those 400 and maybe 50 who really post regularly uh, and who I watch regularly um, and I from those I have contacts with maybe a 10 uh, email uh, but also on Voxer um, and sometimes Skype so you over the course of time you develop uh, friendships uh, outside of the YouTube community which which is fantastic um, because then you you know, you get to know people and you talk about things other than, than books. So the short answer to this question is yes. And what you just heard was the long answer, of course, because I'm waffling, as always. Number eight, uh, with tag videos, do you mix it up or do you tend to tag the same people? Uh, that's, that's a really very good question because, as always, with stuff like that, you tend to, at least I tend to be lazy, and just tag the people I know. Uh, uh, and but I try to mix it up. I try at least when I tag people to you know go through my uh, the the subscription list so that the 
people I'm subscribed to and then try to find people that I'm not tagging regularly. Uh, but I, I'm a, I, I have to admit I, I'm too lazy with that. So I, I will have to improve that. Um, number nine, have you ever mailed books to another booktuber? Yes, I have. Not that often, twice actually, <laughs> but, but I did. Um, have you received books in the mail from other booktubers? Yes, also twice. Uh, 11. Have you ever visited or been visited by another booktuber? No, unfortunately not. There was once uh, Stephanie uh, from That's What She Reads. She, uh, she came through Cologne and we wanted to, uh, to, to meet and then I couldn't because I was away. And the same thing happened or is happening just now, next Monday, because uh, Wiebke from uh, One Book, One Review passes through Amsterdam, but I'm in Cologne at the moment. Uh, so unfortunately, no. Um, I, I hope that might change, but you know, it's, it's Amsterdam and Cologne, uh, is for most of the booktubers, um, uh, I'm have regular contact with, it's just far away. So, but, but who knows? I, I hope it will happen. Um, number 12, uh, do you do buddy reads and is it always with the same people, uh, and are they booktubers? Yes, I, I do quite, quite a lot of buddy reads and all of them are with booktubers. Um, I have a sort of, yeah, if I say a, a steady group, that, that sounds much too, you know, regular. But I have a couple of people um, uh, like Adam from Memento Mori and um, Mel from Booklands Adventure and uh, o o Olive from A Book Olive with whom I quite regularly do buddy reads. But there are other, oh, and Sean, of course. How can I forget Sean, the book maniac? <laughs> um and sometimes there are groups uh, with people that uh, we did a buddy read with, I think, five or six people last year. We read a German um, modern classic. Um, and there were some people that I do regular buddy reads with and others that I have never never done one with. So um, it, it's, it depends. But I have a couple of people, I would say maybe five, with whom I really schedule regular buddy reads. And that, that's always fantastic. Even if I don't like the book, the discussion is always really great. Uh, number 12, oh, no, number 13, oh, sorry, tag some of your friends. So I tried this time to do a, a good job and sort of mix um, people that I normally tag and people that I don't regularly tag. So I want to tag Najwa from Najwa Reads, her fantastic channel, Sam from Sam's Nonsense, uh, one of the first booktubers I was ever subscribed to, Chris from Chris Bookish Keldron, Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me, uh, uh, Ange from Beyond the Pages, Matthew from MCS Books, uh, and Didi from Barn Girl Reading. So this was my take on the BookTube community tag. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, talk to me down in the comments um, about, even if you're not a BookTuber, but uh, uh, if you watch BookTube, uh, you can still, you know, uh, talk to me about some of the questions. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.